Zach's Rank Buys, stocks with a short-term buy or strong buy recommendation. And now, here are more Zach's Rank Buys. Time to talk about a couple of momentum stocks, stocks with an upward trajectory to their stock price with Mike Vodica, our momentum stock strategist at Zax.com. Now here's one that you and I have talked about in the past. I remember, these names get locked away in my mind, you know. Yes. <laughs> um, Ancestry.com, A-C-O-M, the ticker. Uh, this, uh, they're still on an upward uh, swing here? Yeah, this company has stayed strong and uh, it's kind of an interesting model. Basically what they do is they enable um, people to uh, track their ancestry. Right. And it's been very popular recently. We definitely see that showing up in their share price like you mentioned before. Um, company's got a market cap of about 1.7 billion, so it's a decent size. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually just came off of their first quarter earnings, and we saw some really nice gains from last year. Okay. Uh, revenue was up 41% to 91 million. Uh, they produced a 12.5% earnings surprise, and they've beaten by 19% over the last four quarters. So they've had a really nice run in the recovery of the last year. Uh, basically, the uh, the thrust of the quarter was they're seeing nice gains in their subscriber base. Uh, subscribers were up 33% year over year, so that's a really nice gain. And uh, they're actually extracting more revenue from each customer. Um, revenue per customer was up 8% year over year. Wow. Another nice number for them. A lot of people want to know about their ancestry. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, they've got a strong balance sheet. They have uh, cash and equivalents are up $46 million to $100 million from last year, and they have no debt. Uh, we've seen some nice movement in estimates off the good quarter. Um, the current year is up 12%. Next year estimate is projecting 25% growth, so the longer term view looks good too. Um, company's a little pricey. Uh, peg ratio is 1.28 and the benchmark for value is typically 1. And uh, getting into the chart here a little bit, um, what we see is uh, shares hit a new 52 week high in uh, the beginning of May, or actually late April it looks like, at $45. And uh, it's come off a little bit since then, but the long term trend still looks good. All right. I don't even care about some of my relatives who are still alive, <laughs> much less the dead ones. Anyway, that's a different story. Uh, Fresh Del Monte Produce, FDP, the ticker, FDP, the ticker symbol. I just want to be clear about that. Um, another company here, and of course, in the produce business. Yeah. It, it might not seem like your typical momentum stock. It's not particularly glamorous, but they definitely, their share price definitely does have momentum. And uh, I wanted to reinforce the whole agriculture food story. We're right. seeing a longer term trend in that. Despite uh, the commodity prices rising, huh? Yeah, well, I mean, that's actually good for companies like this because usually the, may, they may see a little bit of uh, a little decline in volumes, but with the prices going up, their, their top line will be strong. They're so. able to pass those costs along to yeah, the consumer. Yeah, for the most part, definitely. Okay. Um, this company reported in early May, and uh, we saw a 3% gain in revenue year over year, but uh, the earnings surprise is really where the money's at. That was a 28% surprise, so that was really solid. Um, we saw some nice movement off on, uh, in estimates off the good quarter. Um, the current year added 30 cents. It's at 263. Um, mm -hmm. The next year estimates not not screaming or anything. It's 6% growth. Analysts are looking for that's definitely still respectable. Um, another key point for uh, Fresh Del Monte is their valuation. Um, sh shares are headed higher, but it, they're only trading at 10 times right now. So there's still a lot of value in this momentum stock. That's kind of a nice combination that we look for. Mm -hmm. And then finally getting into the chart here a little bit, um, what we've seen is a new 52-week high in uh, late April at 28.60. Shares have pulled back a little bit since then, but in the weak market, uh, Fresh Del Monte has held up pretty well, so it's looking good. All right, and they're an old line company, the Del Monte Company. Oh it's been around forever. Yeah, I actually re researched that. They've been around since 1886. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you own any of these? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. Well, if you have not yet checked out other stock pick ideas on our homepage, Zax.com, then by all means do that because we put four new ones up there for you daily, one in each of the investing categories that we write about on the website, Mike's included, Momentum. And then if you click on any one of those stock names, it'll take you to the most current story about that individual stock. And then at the bottom of that page, you can go to an archive of some others in that same investing category. With Mike Vodica, I'm Terry Ruffalo.